Week 13, problem 3. In the photoelectric effect, light strikes a metal strikes a metal, and photoelectrons are ejected. If the intensity of light is increased while the frequency is kept constant... Uh, okay, so let's go over the photoelectric effect real quick. Um, I'm going to draw myself... Ooh, I can use a... Is that a parallelogram? That is a parallelogram. It's hard to not... It's hard to dislike a parallelogram. Thick border. Oh, yeah. There we go. So this is our metal, and it's going to have in it a whole bunch of electrons. Ooh, should this should those be green? Let's say green. And they should be filled in. Oh, man. Ooh, make a little E in the middle. There we go. So unnecessarily complicated, but still going to happen anyway. Ooh, it's actually... Surprisingly exciting. Oh, so fun. <laughs> and such a poor use of your time. Okay, okay, I got it. I'm calming down. So, going back to... So we have a gamma, which is a photon. Hmm. Not important. So, it's a photon, which it can be a gamma ray. Uh, gamma ray is a specific type of radiation, electromagnetic radiation. So idea here, photoelectric effect, is a photon, i.e. photo, hits an electron, i.e. electric, and the energy is transferred to the electron, which then is ejected out. So as will be useful to know later, um, this is a straight energy balance. So you have a certain amount of energy photon. It then goes, hits the electron, and to, if you think of it like a jello mold, which is a terrible analogy, um, but I guess it kind of does, where like little fruit things or, you know, little grapes are stuck in the jello. The photon hits the grape and the grape is ejected from the jello mold. And it took some energy to decouple that grape from the jello mold. So you lose some energy from that. And then once the grape is out flying, it's got that kinetic energy flying out as well. So the idea here is you're going to have some energy lost due to um, I, I'm going to call this the, because I think it's called the work function. I don't actually know the detail. It's some energy associated with knocking it out of its orbit. Hmm. Which I don't even know if there really is an orbit with metals. Hmm. Not important. So there is something holding the electron to the metal. To overcome that, the, phot the photon has to give up some energy. And the balance of the energy, the uh, remaining energy, will then be given kinetic energy to the um, electron shooting up. All right, so back to the question. If the intensity of the light is increased, raised, while the frequency is kept constant. All right, so the first one, so intensity goes up. So intensity here, hmm, so energy equals HF, which equals HC over lambda. Intensity equals power per square meter which equals joules per second per square meter over one. So you multiply by the reciprocal, whoop, and you get joules second square meter. All right, so what this is saying here is the intensity of the light goes up. So, mm, ooh, cyan, I think that's cyan. Yeah, but that doesn't offer a good contrast. There we go. Um, intensity rises, so that means joules per square meter goes up. Uh, the intensity of the light is increased, but the frequency is kept constant. All right, so the frequency is kept constant, which means that the um, energy contained in each individual photon is the same. Each photon has the same amount of energy because a photon travels like this. Oh, that is so bad. So terribly bad. There we go. We're going to say travels like this. The energy of the photon is based on the frequency or the wavelength. Since they both, since we know the speed of propagation, um, the higher frequency means more energy. So the energy of the photon stays the same. So the energy of each individual photon is constant. But the intensity increased, which means we have more photons. So it's basically like we... Instead of bombarding it with 30 photons per second, we're now 
bombarding with like 300 photons per second. Okay. The maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons will be higher. So basically, the... Wait a sec. No, the frequency was the same, right? Frequency was kept constant. Okay. Maximum will be the same. Constant. So the idea here is the frequency is kept constant. So the initial energy inputted to the... Um, so I'm going to say here that energy photon equals energy electron plus I'm going to call this some sort of work function. So the this guy right here relates to frequency. I know at this point I'm saying the same thing over and over again. Or I'm not saying the same thing over and over again and it just makes things confusing. So since the frequency is kept constant the energy of the photon is kept constant, which means the energy of the electron is kept constant. Maximum, yep. While the rate of photoelectrons will increase. Right. So, so the energy of each photon is the same, but the total energy bombarding the metal is increasing, which means you're going to need more photons, which means you're going to produce more photoelectrons. Bam. I'm going to say it's true. I'm going to say it's true. All right. So constant and up. Raises. If the frequency of the light is raised, okay, so more energy per photon, while the intensity is kept constant. Ah, okay, okay. So here we have energy photon rises, but the intensity is kept constant. So that means number of photons has to go down. Because if each photon is getting stronger, but we have the same number, amount of total strength, so it's like if you have 10 guys that each weigh, you know, 150 pounds. Well, if each guy now weighs 200, 200 pounds, but you have the same total weight of everyone, then you're going to have to have fewer people. Um, there's probably some analogy with, you know, fat people on an elevator versus skinny people on an elevator. If you have the same maximum weight load, which elevator is going to have more people? Same idea. So energy of the photons went up because the frequency of light increased. The intensity was kept constant. So even though energy was constant, we had to have fewer photons. The maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons will, okay, so that's based on energy photon, will rise, go up, I'll say raise, rise, okay. While the, photon, while the rate of photons on the metal will decrease, so the rate of photoelectrons will decrease. Hint, don't try the last part until you understand the previous fourth part. Okay, well, you probably only have one guess, so... If my advice was terrible and you are the first, first poor sap to figure that out, write it down in the comments. That way, everyone following behind will get it right where you failed. So, as, as they say in chess, you sacrifice everything, maybe you'll bring success to those who outlast you. That's, you know, speaking from a pawn type perspective. While the rate of photons in the metal will decrease, so the rate of photoelectrons will decrease. Yep, I'll say that's true. So that's it. Gosh, that's it. I did really well with that. That's, that's, yeah, downright, downright excellent. Eh, adequate, downright adequate. All right, so that's problem three. On to problem four.